Hello, this is Mike MacGyver, and uh, I'm here with a little update on the Blazer. Yeah, got the uh, got the rear end fixed on it there. It, the drive shaft wasn't messed up like I thought it was. It was uh, the way it's shaped. It's got an angle to the drive shaft right where at the upper end of it there. So that's all that was there. But when I had talked about the rear end being out of line, what it is, is has two leaf springs. It's made out of metal. It's on the ba on the frame or the base of it rather. And then it has this plastic piece that the drive shaft's connected to that fits in there and the axle runs through it. Well, it was a little bit a little bit warped not from no heat or nothing so while i had i pulled the axle out you know took the wheel and axle out and uh kind of twisted on the axe i'm on the drive shaft there twisted that rear end in the direction it needed to go so it so we could get it straightened out and it still looks like it's it's, it's a little bit crooked but uh anyway Got that fixed, and what nothing else wrong with it. I got the top JB welded on, so it's not uh, going nowhere. You know, pick it up by the top now; it won't come off. Uh, took all the decals off, as you can see. So yeah, and got it all fixed up. Got that all done. Get the decals off there. Had a Coca-Cola on the hood. So it's gone. It's got opening hood also. There's the engine. But yeah, got her lined out. So anyway, that's, uh, that's that. We're going to sit it on over here out the way. And here's that plate again. Uh, I, I guess it was just, uh, exposed to sunlight or something and it warped it because, uh, or, or, or I don't, or heat or something. It don't look melted. It just looks kind of warped up. It could have, uh, could be just, uh, malfunction at the place they put it together. Crazy. But I'll use that for parts. That old plate. We'll cut it up and use it for parts. No doubt. So anyway, I uh, got the trailer hitch put on my truck I plan to do. You know, I took the trailer hitch off of that uh, GMC Sierra that came with the Pontiac and trailer. And uh, I put that trailer hitch on this. Yeah. Put it on this so it can pull the camper. No doubt. Ready to go hunting now, huh? I don't know about these wheels. I put I put these chrome wheels on this a long time ago when I first got it. It came with some other colored wheels. I think it even had muddy tires. That's one, rain, one main reason why I changed it. So, uh, the old camper, it needs some, needs some chrome wheels on it too, probably. But anyway, that's, uh, what we did to that. And this, every time I put my hand up there in front of this camera, it dims. Crazy thing. Yeah, I didn't break out my old camera. Let's try my other hand, see what happens, see if it dims. Maybe it's, uh. Something to do with that end of the phone. But anyway, that's uh, got the hitch on. It turned out pretty good. So anyway, let's, uh, we're going to take the camper off and let you get a look at that old hitch. Crazy camera. I don't know, man. It's Huh. Anyway, it's... Uh, there's the hitch, trying to trying to show it. Camera don't want to act right, but yeah, I think it turned out good. Yeah, so that's 
So anyway, that's that. And uh, we're going to put it over here on the left out the way. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the Sierra, this GMC Sierra I took the trailer hitch off of. Well, you know, the trailer was a, a box trailer. And uh, I had took this box off. Well, I'm going to keep the box. But anyway, I worked on the trailer. Yeah, I worked on the trailer. And uh, I did some customizing to it. Here it is. I haven't painted where I worked on it yet. As you can see, it's silver down the side. Why is it silver? Because I cut it. I cut both sides of the trailer. It's not wide no more. Yeah. It is uh, a narrow trailer. I think this trailer looks much better like this than the way it came. The way it came, it looked just too wide. Here, I'm going to show you another one here. This is, this is what it would have looked like before I cut it. And that silver's definitely making the camera dim. So, yeah, that's what we did to it. I know I lost the tail lights when I cut it, but there's the difference in it. We'll put some more tail lights on it, probably up on the up up there forward near the fenders or something. But anyway, that's what we did on that. Plus, also, I grinded a. Uh, I took the grinder and I grinded it on the bottom of it. I done filled it in with JB Wood. I ground it down to where I could bend this end. See, I put a pitch on the end of it there. Kind of, uh, kind of made it uh, uh, a tilt, tilted angle there on the back. But anyway, I got some black paint. I'll paint this silver back up. I just didn't do it before I showed it because. Just wanted to show the uh, where I cut it. So, yeah, once I get some black paint on it there, it'll look all right. And I'm still going to change the rims on this. Put some, uh, either some rims with some chrome hubcaps or some mags. I ain't sure yet on that. That's just a debating on what I'm going to do with it. And anyhow, that's that. That's what I deal with that. Narrowed the trailer. May do this one the same way one day. Now, see, this one here didn't come with that box. This one came with the, uh, well, there we go. This one came with uh, this little box. Got pins all on it. I may leave this here box alone and the trailer with, I may leave this trailer wide like it is. And I got the Penzoil funny car. It's probably going to go on this trailer. Yeah. Here's the truck that goes to it. Let me get it down here. This, this truck that goes to the trailer. Yeah. Mr. Penzoil. So, uh, I think it's going to look pretty good together with the the, the Pennzoil fun, Camaro funny car. Yeah. All right. Anywho, that's, uh, that's what we did with that. I mean, with that other trailer, was narrowed it. So, and this, this camper thing comes off. It's pretty cool. This is a uh, dually. Yeah, Chevy Dually. I think it's a 75 model, or it might be a 73. Yeah. GMC says on the front of it, on the grill. But anyway, you're going to put that up here out the way. Set this over here out the, uh, I sort out of the way. And the last, last but not least, Nitro Speed had sent me this car. And I didn't know it was coming. And uh, even before, you know, before it arrived, I had purchased one too. 
mainly this year car came with tires and wheel sets and then so i picked up a, a, well, let, me, let me leave it here for a minute and we're gonna zoom in maybe to quit changing the light on me i uh i mean this this car came in on a card and a plate but no glass cover and it came with three sets of tires and wheels and like i said nitro speed sent this one to me well i didn't know it was coming and i ended up getting another one we're gonna move it back here a little bit for the wheels set south of it and so since i was in the process of removing the decals on the blazer I went ahead and removed the decals on this one. So that's what we did with that. Got it uh, plain Jane, as you'd say. So, yeah. And I'm probably going to pull these tires off these wheels and put some treaded tires on it. Them slicks on here. See, it's supposed to be a This is going to be my street car, you know. And uh, and this is the racer car. So the, the slicks will stay on this one. Yeah, slicks are going to stay on this one. We're going to take the slicks off of this one. I should have done it today, but I didn't. Maybe uh, in the future. I don't know when. But that's about it. Just wanted to get in here and do a little video. Here's the pieces from that trailer I cut off. Uh, yeah, that's the two long sides and the two short sides. Yeah. But anyway, I think the old blazer's looking good. I was thinking about robbing the wheels off of the other blazer I got and putting on here, but as here, here it is. It's got white wheels too. I was thinking this one had chrome wheels. And uh, so anyway, when I dug it out, when I dug it out of wherever I had it stashed, I was going to take the chrome wheels off of it and it didn't have none. So, <laughs> so the old white, old red blazer still got the white wheels. Maybe later on I might put chrome ones on this one. Yeah, because I do have uh, extra Bronco that definitely has chrome wheels on it. So, and it's an M2 also, so I might just swap them out. Yeah, might swap them out. But anywho, I'm about to be running out of my time zone, so... Uh, I guess I'm going to get on out of here. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. I appreciate y'all watching my old junkie videos and seeing what I'm up to. No doubt. And uh, we'll be back another day. And... Uh, until then, this is Mike MacGyver, and I'm out of here. Oh, I'm gone. <laughs>